Hey, what's going on everybody? Craig here from Video Juice. Welcome back again. We are here with episode 17 of Supernatural. Only four episodes <coughs> excuse me, in the season left. I am still a little bit under the weather. The cough is the only thing that's lingering. Um, thank you all for the well wishes last episode. I, um, I haven't gotten a whole lot done in the last few days because I've had no energy. And trying to record with, with a really bad cough is just a nightmare because my audio levels are all over the place and it doesn't make for great watching either. So I've been trying to do it on days that I the cough is not as bad. Thankfully, it's not as bad today. I don't, don't, I don't suspect I'll be um, sick for much longer. I've been taking stuff forward and everything. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, last time on Supernatural, we had a dual storyline. We had Jack getting sidelined and he went off to get some supplies. He met up with the kids from the 300 episode, episode 13, I think it was. Um, and they were all interested in his powers and interested in him. And then when he was showing him the powers, <coughs> excuse me, one of them ran towards the blade, got stabbed, and then they turned their back on him, like, what the fuck, get away from us, you monster. And then poor old Jack had to um, go back to the bunker and lie about what he did that day. <laughs> yeah, I talked about it last episode. I, actually, I'll get to the rest of the episode. And then on the other side, we had Sam and Dean um, do a, a classic uh, uh, feeling supernatural episode. They had to go to the woods to see this, uh, this monster, but it wasn't actually a monster. It was a cursed guy. He did some stuff and ate some people, and then he got cursed to become a tree for all eternity, a, a, a self-eating tree. <laughs> he, um, his, I can't remember, I, I forgot to write down, I should have done it in between episodes, but I forgot to write down the name of the, the monster or the curse or whatever. They named it something, I, I'm pretty sure, in the episode. But it was pretty cool. He had to feed, um, he had to feed every few years or whatever, or his body would eat itself. It was nasty, it was nasty. The design and the actual lore was really, really cool though. It felt like a classic Supernatural episode and it was interesting. That's pretty much it. We got a tiny, teeny, small, little appearance of the Ghost Facers <laughs> through a video, obviously online, not actually them, but it was still cool to um, to see them again. And I talked about the last episode, I kind of complimented what they were talking about in the episode about um, telling the public and stuff, when this is proof that the public wouldn't believe it, you know, it's already there, it's already online, the the proof is already there, and people are skeptical, because that's what people are, you know, especially with, when it comes to the internet, <laughs> there's so much fake shit out there now, um, so yeah, last four, I still have no idea what to expect, I still am holding out, not even hope, I, I pretty much, pretty much I, in my opinion, it's pretty much a guarantee, I still do think that Lucifer is going to come back into it as a big, as, as, maybe not even a big bad, I don't know. I defeat, Lucifer has to come back in. They teased him for a specific reason, I feel like. I'm glad they didn't come, they made, I'm glad they didn't make him come back and become the big bad of this season, you know? I mean, it still could happen later on, but there's not enough time. Whatever happens, I feel like it's going to carry over into next season or set something up for next season. Because um, there's just not enough time. And I'm glad that they didn't do it this season because Lucifer has had a good run on the show and I'm glad that we, I'm glad that they teased him but then didn't go straight back into him, you know, give, give us a little bit of breathing room, um, as much as we love Mark Pellegrino and Lucifer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I still do feel like Jack could potentially go bad. Um, I talked about it lots in the last few episodes, so I won't harp on it too much, but I would like to see the actor do that side of things. I don't want it for the character, but it would be interesting to see. Um, I don't think there's enough time for it to be a big bad thing, the only way I see it happening now, like, I don't, sorry, I don't feel like it is possible for them to have it be a temporary thing now for this season. Like, I, my, my theory was they could have Jack turn bad, then have, then have, save him or whatever, do, do whatever they can to bring him back, and then have Lucifer be the actual big bad. Um, there's not enough time for that now. If they're going to do a Jack turn and bad thing, it's going to be a setup for next season, I feel like. Um... But there's opportunities there. That's why I want to see the actor. I think the, I think uh, Alexander would do absolutely phenomenal uh, playing a bad character, a bad Jack. I like the Shadim are also there. He's summoned the Shadim before. Um, it's another one of them loose threads that we have. I have it written down over there. The Shadim, the empty Kaya. Although Kaya came back already. This is from the first things I wrote down for season fourteen. Yeah, I have to cross a lot of that shit out. All the Michael stuff is gone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm talking way too long again. Um, let's check out the new episode. Can I help you? Oh no! Donny! Who 
is it? What the fuck? Ha! <laughs> oh, that's so unsatisfying. <laughs> oh my god. Just flick it over. Game night. Hell yeah. Everybody keeps asking me that. Our family. It's our job. Well, it's annoying. Oh. <laughs> Jack, I'll just go fuck myself, so. Do you ever want to talk or vent? You're here. I know. Feels like he's putting on all of that shit. Right? right the way he. Game night is a go. Is it a trap? We're getting cast this episode. Makes me all tingly inside. <laughs> this place is so. Ugh. Oh! I appreciate you coming. I've just blanked on her name. Said you had something for me. To contact God. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Good luck with that. You forget, Anael. I know you. And I am, that was it. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Lucifer? They seem big, too big to be. Well, I suppose it won't be Lucifer, but he seemed too big to be uh, Mark Pellegrino, but. Maybe not. It's gotta be a trap, right? Uh, Fucking help yeah. Me. Help. Help me. Oh, I knew it! Yeah. Good, you made it. You had to be Nick. Sort of a funny story. And by funny, I mean a lot of people died. Oh, man. Hit the live stream button. Oh. Oh, man. He just got out of a coma as well, you dickhead. Go for it. Put me out of my misery. Is that really what you want? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh man, look at Sam's face. Oh. oh hey. hey, not now, okay? Not yet. Oh, oh, oh man, his face. All right, well, Nick said he wanted to talk. Talk? So let's talk. Oh, yeah, let's See talk. See what the fuck he wants. Hey, hey, no, no, no. What? You're too hot. I need you to stay here. Why? The way you are right now, if Nick looks at you wrong, you're going to waste. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I would like to see... I would like to see Sam kill Nick. But I want to see Sam kill Nick... While he's possessed by Lucifer. I want to see Sam kill Lucifer. That would be fucking excellent. Yeah. Well, you might. Are you what could have... What you could have be? Even if we found Joshua's that back phone... Contact... God, care. God. And I don't need God. And... I'm happy, Castiel. Really? Because that sounds lonely. <laughs> What's this all about? I want to see my son. His son? He said that? Is he... Sam? Does Nick... I mean, I mean, what do you mean you mean? No. I mean... Look, finding the Donatello is... Jack slow, brought back and, and Cass. Nick is locked down... Because if he does... How is he even a if he knows that, he could be trying to use him to bring Lucy back. Oh, that's a great shot. boy. Where's Donatello? I don't see it. I'm looking right at you and I see nothing. I have a sword! Oh! I'm sorry. 
Oh. Sorry. He's trying to do something. I'm serious. What the fuck is he playing at? Oh. I've seen that before. Where? Crystal shop? A dollar store? Friend fair? No. Is that? The one I know, it, it glows in the presence of How God. How does he this have it? Looking for. Good eye. This was filled with angelic grace. Oh. Wait, what? What? I don't under I don't know what his play is. I have no idea what his play is. Hi, Sammy boy. Your phone, your phone is calling. He's taking some cues from Lucifer on the whole annoying thing. <laughs> Oh, is he working with someone? So maybe it wasn't Nick. Oh man. Oh. Damn it. So maybe the guy that was walking wasn't Nick. Because I thought he was too broad. Out of the car. Get out of the car. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa. Whoa. Something is about Whoa. to go down. <laughs> no, Lucifer's dead. He's in the empty. Yeah. And he's awake. And with the help of your little prophet friend, I was able to have a convo with him. And he told me how to bring him back. It won't be easy. You'll have to prove yourself. The Winchesters will be a problem. You can use that. Twist it. Find a way to get to my son. His blood. You need his blood. Oh, he got the blood when he hit him. He's dead anymore, you know that. All you need is a little <laughs> bit of grease. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You're not alone. Oh, did he kill him? No. He held off. Oh, Sam. Lucifer's perfect vessel. Not so perfect now, are you? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Let's play, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Don't distract Dean. Oh, get wrecked. We called an ambulance, but they said 20 minutes. It's not good, Mom. It's really bad. Can't Jack teleport? Run. Teleport over there, heal him. Oh, it is. Oh my god. Oh, what's happening, Jack? Oh, that's the empty. Oh, oh that is fucking cool. He's just burning him. Oh. Fuck. Everything's gonna be fine. Famous last words. Is Mary gonna get taken over by this far? Something bad has to happen, right? To cap the episode. Something's wrong. No, I'm uh, not. You're wrong. Sweetheart. Don't antagonize him. You know I'm not. Are you gonna tell them? You need help? We'll help you. Do not. We're your family. Listen to me! Leave me alone! Don't end! 
No! 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 How could it end like that? What is he after doing? <laughs> oh. So, I'm not... For anyone that doesn't know, this season I theorised that Nick would eventually die. He has to eventually die on the show, right? Um, when he went bad. So I got a can of... A can, sorry, a san. <laughs> I got a can of San Pellegrino, scribbled out San and wrote Mark. Can you see that? <coughs> and I was going to drink this when Mark Pellegrino died on the show, when Nick died on the show. I'm going to hold off and wait for verification next episode. Just because I feel like stuff could change. <laughs> this, this, this was an... Oh, my pen is gone. This was an incredible episode. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I have some worries <laughs> for characters in the show. Like, I still don't feel like Jack's soul is fully gone. I still don't feel like his soul is fully gone. He has too much emotion, man. He has too much emotion for someone whose soul is fully gone. He definitely has lost most of it. And losing most of it has definitely changed him. It has made him a bit more unhinged. But he has to have some of it left. I just... I feel like he has... I know they're beating us around the head with the fact that he doesn't. But it's still not officially confirmed yet. And I still feel like... I, I personally feel like there's a little bit left. I do. Now, the stuff at the end with Lucifer and Nick. First off, the effects on Lucifer coming out of the empty. And the wings was fucking phenomenal. That was incredible. Um... I think, and I understand it from Mary's perspective a little bit, but I think the way Mary reacted to everything was a bit much. I understand he probably should have just killed him, you know, uh, quick death. Um, but And she was more upset with the way he did stuff, snapping all of his f fucking fingers and burning him and stuff. Nick has killed a significant amount of people. And he just, like, he's gone he's fucked like he's done like as, as a as a as a human as a character he's fucked his soul has been twisted and changed and corrupted he is like he turned his back on giving his dead wife's ghost closure and allowing her to move on to the afterlife so that he could be back with lucifer he then tried to re bring back lucifer to try to fucking resurrect lucifer in his own body the way Mary handled all of that, I feel like, was really, really sloppy, you know? Um, I understand he shouldn't torture them, but the way everything happened... And even when he was saying, get away from me and all that, why not take a step back and fucking talk to him? Don't run over and antagonize him more, you know? I feel like she could have handled it better. I'm worried about what happened at the end. Obviously, we're led to believe that he did something to her, um, but he has the power to resurrect and heal like could he go back in and heal nick to try and fix stuff you know like like with what happened last episode with the kids could that happen now like maybe he does something to mary right um he resurrects her and he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry he goes in resurrects nick and is like now everything is fine you know like he did last episode not understanding that the i know i didn't really agree with like the way everything went down last episode, but I thought I thought it was a little bit ridiculous. Um, which are one running into the, the blade and stuff, but um it could have been a little bit of setup for this where he f fixes everything and thinks everything is okay, but I feel like this is the start of him going It could be the start of him going bad. And if it is, I like it, you know? I like the way it led up to it and the way like it flowed really well and didn't feel forced um for the sake of him going bad, if you know what I mean. Um, like mad theory right what if what if Jack does go bad and leading up to the finale or in the finale we have three episodes left I might do it in the finale what if he brings back Nick or uh, Lucifer because Nick was it Nick was saying Nick was saying that his uh, Lucifer his heart got broken when everything went down with Jack and stuff what if he thinks Lucifer Lucifer is the um, 
someone that would embrace him, even with his dark side. I don't know. I don't know. He wouldn't know the spell to bring him back. Yeah. I don't know. See, I I feel like I feel like the Lucifer stuff is not over with, just because. It would be, it would definitely be a shock if it was, you know, because they teased him and then they, we had all of this stuff with Nick and then we had all of this episode building up to it. If it doesn't, I, would, I wouldn't I would be upset about it, you know, but I feel like with how heavily influential Lucifer was to this entire show, they have to have him back for the last season, right? <laughs> they have to have him back for the last season, I feel like. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going on about the ending a lot. Um... I do think that maybe, I don't know actually, I don't know what they're going to do next episode. I hope, I don't know. I feel like he's going to go dark side now, a little, even just a little bit. But I'm still holding out hope that he has a sliver of his soul left. Um, I also want to know what noise Jack was hearing. He was hearing angel noises in his head towards the end. I have no, um, I have no theories on what that could be, <laughs> but I said I would mention it. Um possible Chuck appearance this season maybe um it was great to see the the, the necklace again necklace again um when was the last time we saw that I know we saw it in season 10 11 when Chuck made his appearance as God that was the last time I can remember seeing it I can't remember what happened to it after that let me know in the comments if you remember or if you know um it was cool to see that again. It was cool to say, see Anael again. I like that we got a little bit more into her character. She delved into it a little bit more. Because she was... She never really did anything, you know? She They never fleshed out her character. Not that she never did anything. They never fleshed out her character that much. I feel like they fleshed her out a little bit more in this episode. And I enjoyed it. Um, I like the actress. Um, I wrote down... I can't remember when the last time we saw her. I think... Well, well it wasn't when she teamed up with Lucifer. Because we saw her once again after that, I think. I don't know. I liked all that stuff. I feel like we could see Chuck again this season. I feel like they're they're building towards that and they were teasing us this episode with it. Or maybe it could be just set up for when he inevitably inevitably appears next season because he's definitely going to appear again before the show ends. Uh, I feel like. And if they're going to... If they're going to eventually save Jack, having Chuck around to fix his soul is, is an inevitability, I feel like. That's if they're going to save Jack. I still don't understand why Cass can't check Jack's soul, but I will not harp on that anymore. Um, I said it last episode again. They, they, like He has checked it in the past. He can check other people's souls. Why can't he check Jack's soul? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, like they, uh, They've never... They, I don't, as far as I can remember, they haven't explained, them, it, explained it in the show. All they have to say is, oh, maybe my power is too low, or maybe, maybe uh, Jack's power is too strong and it's blocking him out or something. Because he's, he's done it before. He's checked Jack's soul before, right? Has he? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. He's checked other people's souls. I liked all of the stuff with... Um, with Cass and Anael. I said that already. I want to know more about... The, I, I didn't write down his name. It was a big long name. The guy that was in the fucking warehouse place that he was in. Um, what What is he? Is he just human? He seemed to be old. With the way they were talking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I said I'd mention it because it kind of stood out a bit. Sam's face. First off, S Sam should have strangled the absolute shit out of Nick when he had the chance. <laughs> I was rooting for Sam to strangle him. Um, Sam's face when they brought Nick into the bunker. When he saw Nick and just lunged for him. That was incredible. Um, props to uh, Jared for that scene. Because the second he saw him, like, you could see his face just change. And it just slowly got worse you know you could tell the anger built up in him over everything uh, and then lunging at him and stuff it was fucking it was good it was a really well done scene i liked um i liked the scene with i liked the the, the plan i liked nick's plan um to do to get all of this you know and i liked the way the, i liked the way the episode unfolded and revealed this plan because i knew something was up i knew nick was up to something i knew there was he had some sort of a plan uh, but I just could not guess it until it was happening, you know, until it was getting getting revealed. It was really well done. Uh, I thought the writing in this episode overall was pretty good. That's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else. Um, 
it really has thrown a spanner in the works <laughs> for what I think is going to happen now because my obviously my I talked about it at the start of the episode my my theory on what was going to happen leading up to the finale was kind of dependent on Lucifer coming back and I still feel like there's a possibility of him coming back but as a shock factor it could be just the story is done now you know similar to what they did with Michael with Michael just dying you know as a shock um and I could see that happening with Lucifer but I still feel like there could be an opportunity for him to come back um especially if Jack Jack goes dark side there's a possibility he could be in Mary that's a little bit less likely um yeah I don't know this was a, it was a this was a really really good episode halfway through the episode in my head I was writing like or in my head I was writing <laughs> in my head I was thinking like uh this, structurally this episode is just so different and working you know it, it it worked so well for it um i love that like even at the start of the episode we had three different storylines going on you know <laughs> it's so good i don't feel like mary's gonna die i don't feel like she's dead and if he did something to her <coughs> excuse me if she did die he's gonna bring her back um i just wonder if nick is gonna come back that's why i'm not gonna drink that yet i might wait until the I'm just going to wait until we get official confirmation, you know? Because if he's going to come back, it's going to be next episode, you know? Like, without Nick... Without Nick, I don't feel like there's a way of bringing Lucifer back. Because it's it's a, it's a, a true vessel for him, right? Sam is the other one. He is a true vessel uh, that Crowley created for Lucifer. Um, like, if he's in Mary... If he's in Mary, he'll just resurrect nick i feel and then bring him back but i feel like he won't come back without nick without mark pellegrino because what's the point you know they tried it in previous seasons some of them worked you know i liked cass uh, or misha playing uh lucifer that was really cool he got the, the 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 facial expressions and mannerisms down i enjoyed that even if it was very brief and um, we got the president we got the, that fucking rock star dude i can't remember his name um so there's been a few over the course of the seasons but mark pellegrino is the lucifer for me in this show um so yeah i've been rambling there for a bit i'm worried for jack but that was a great episode if he does go dark side like for me the thing that was keeping me a little bit in denial about him going dark side or keeping me um thinking that he wouldn't would be how he would do it, would be the lead up to it, you know? Because then they had to make it believable and they had to make it flow well. And I feel like this did it, you know? I like the way everything went down. Obviously, I, I talked about my, my, my things with Mary and the way she reacted and handled what he did. She should have been a bit more restrained and understood the situation and tried to talk him down, you know? And assess the situation later and tell Sam and Dean when everything is contained. The way she handled it wasn't really that great, but... I liked. I still like the way it ha everything happened with 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 with, uh, with Jack and him him losing it in front of Nick because of Nick is a great way to do it because there's history there. You know, there's it's it makes sense that that would be where he would where would snap a little bit and do something that is uncharacteristic for Jack. You know, it's such an un Jack thing to do. Um, yeah, like like the boys have. I've done worse shit in the past, you know. They've killed, they've killed uh, friendly monsters, you know, or monsters that were trying to do good. Dean has, and I'm pretty sure Sam has as well. Um, they've they've tortured demons. They've they've killed humans that were bad, you know. They've done a lot of bad stuff in the past, but they're also weathered and 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 I I would almost say kind of corrupted but in a good way you know not in a bad way they're just they've been through so much and everything and as humans are kind of broken down a bit whereas jack is kind of fresh and he hasn't gone through all this stuff to 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 become that you know um and this like it was such a big jump from what he was before to now that um yeah it's um it's happening I feel like Bad Jack is happening. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. Let me know 
um, anything you have to say about this episode because there was a lot to digest there was a lot in this episode uh, hit that like button if you liked the video we have some social media links and a website address down below in the description you can check them out as well we will be, we will be back in a few days with another reaction to supernatural only three left and then we will be moving on to season 15 straight away um yeah thanks for watching again later pull me from the ashes so i could soothe your frightened mind and let our souls collide rising tide so we can ride away upon a tumbling wave